Devri Hayamim Rishon, 1 Chronicles 26, concerning the divisions of the porters of the Korachi was Meshelam Yahu, the son of Kor, of the sons of Echaf, and the sons of Meshelam Yahu were Zakar Yahu, the firstborn, Yadi Ael, the second, Zevad Yahu, the third, Yathni El, the fourth, Elam, the fifth, Yahu Hanan, the sixth, El Yahu Ainai, the seventh. Moreover, the sons of Oved Idam were Shemeyahu, the firstborn, Yahuzavad, the second, Yoach, the third, and Sekar, the fourth, and Nathan El, the fifth, Amiel, the sixth, Yishachar, the seventh, Peulethai, the eighth, for Elohim blessed him. Also unto Shemayahu, his son were sons born that ruled throughout the house of their father, for they were mighty men of valor, the sons of Shemayahu, Othni, and Raphael, and Oved, Elzevad, whose brethren were strong men, Elihu and Chemak Yahu. All these of the sons of Oved Idam, they and their sons and their brethren, able men for strength for the service, were three score and two of Oved Idam. And Meshelam Yahu had sons and brethren, strong men, eighteen. Also, Chokha, of the children of Marai, had sons, Shimri, the chief, for though he was not the firstborn, yet his father made him the chief. Kilkiyahu, the second, Telvayahu, the third, Zachariyahu, the fourth, and all the sons and brethren of Chokha were thirteen. Among these were the divisions of the porters, even among the chief men, having wards one against another to minister in the house of Yahweh. And they cast lots as well, the small as the great, according to the house of their fathers for every gate. And the lot eastward fell to Shalom Yahu, then for Zachar Yahu, his son, a wise counselor, they cast lots. And his lot came out northward to Oved Idam southward and to his sons the house of Ekuf to Shapim and Koka. The lot came forth westward with the gate Shaleketh by the causeway of the going up, ward against ward. Eastward were six Leviim, northward four a day, southward four a day, and toward Ekuf two and two, at Parbar, westward, four at the causeway, and two at Parbar. These are the divisions of the porters among the sons of Kor, and among the sons of Marai, and of the Leviim, Achiyahu, was over the treasures of the house of Oliim, rather, of Elohim, and over the treasures of the dedicated things, as concerning the sons of Ladan, the sons of the Gerashin Ladan, chief fathers even of Ladan, the Gershani, were Yahi Ali. The sons of Yahi Ali, Zatham and Yoel, his brother, which were over the treasures of the house of Yahuwah, of the Amramim and the Yitzraim, the Chevranim and the Uzi Elim and Shevuel, the son of Gersham, the son of Moshe, was ruler of the treasures. And his brethren by Eleazar, Rechav Yahu, his son, and Yashayahu, his son, and Yoram, his son, and Zikri, his son, and Shalomith, his son, which Shalomith 
and his brethren were over all the treasures of the dedicated things which David, the king, and the chief fathers, the captains over thousands and hundreds, and the captains of the host had dedicated. Out of the spoils won in battles did they dedicate to maintain the house of Yahuwah. And all that Shemuel the seer, and Shaul the son of Kish, and Avner the son of Ner, and Yoav the son of Seruyah, had dedicated. And whosoever had dedicated anything, it was under the hand of Shelomith and of his brethren. Of the Yitz Harim, Kenan Yahu and his sons were for the outward business over Yashadael, for officers and judges. And of the Chevranim, Chashav Yahu and his brethren, men of valor, a thousand and seven hundred, were officers among them of Yashadael. On this side of the Ardan, westward, in all the business of Yahuwah and in the service of the king, among the Chevraim was Yerav Yahu, rather, Yeriyahu, the chief, even among the Chevraim, according to the generations of his fathers, in the fortieth year of the reign of David, they were sought for. And there were found among them mighty men of valor at Yaazer of Gilad, and his brethren, men of valor, were two thousand and seven hundred chief fathers whom King David made rulers over the Reuvinim, the Gadim, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, for every matter pertaining to Elohim and affairs of the king.